Yeah, when I when I started, um, I actually binge watched everything that existed up to that point. And it wasn't a lot. It was like a few couple of seasons of the flagship show and one of Miami or something. It wasn't like a ton. But I like binge watched it for like the weeks and saw all of it. And I was like, this is amazing. And then I got in a meeting with Anthony Zyker and Brookheimer's team and and they're like, Okay, this is gonna be completely different. We're gonna we're gonna be really dark and it's gonna be you know, the music's going to have nothing to do with the other one. It's going to be totally different. And I was like, oh, no. Like, I've, I've been totally, like, thinking about how I could do, like, kind of do this and do the, because I love the way, you know, it has, like, a little bit of humor to it, and it's dark, and it's, like, everything. And um, so it went another But then um, after the first season, um, it actually kind of, went a little bit towards, you know, everyone was, like, everyone at CBS and everyone was saying, let's, you know, let's kind of connect a little, just a little more to, you know, what the other, what the others are, and let's, you know, so, so we, we kind of, like, melded a little bit of the, what was good about Miami and the flagship, and we used a little bit of that, and it, so it actually did over the, but it still had its own sound, right. totally, like, over the nine years. Um, well, I, you know, CBS, like, you know, wanted to bring sort of the brightness of Miami to the show, and they did, and so, because the first season was all underground, mm -hmm. if you, I don't know if you ever have seen it, but the, it was, um, all the offices and the morgue and all of that were all mm -hmm. in New York, they were under, in this underground facility. And so season two, they took it all up into up high into the into a you know skyscraper. Well, that was just part of it. And um, musically, we were always evolving. But uh, I didn't. I could. I could start to do things that weren't as dark and weren't as because we started very orchestral, we, we, which the other shows weren't doing at all. We were, we were like very orchestral the first season. And so I, I could start doing more ambient stuff, and um, ex I, I was exploring a little more, um, even though we were really exploring in the first season. So, um, you know, then the, the, the some of the some of the stuff you could kind of really relate to. Oh, that's kind of, that has a CSI kind of sound of the, from the original one a little bit, and that has, you know, this has, has a rhythm that reminds me of Miami a little bit, or electronics like Miami a little bit. So. Yeah, it was, it was it was a fun, really fun journey. But I, I basically, I, by the third season, it had a it had a sound, and it was part orchestral, part rock, um, a lot of that crime drama, dark narrative, ambient sort of thing. But it, it, it was it had a sound. The th third season was when it locked in, and then then it was just bam from there even though I was writing new material for every episode new themes new everything it was the sound that I was carrying over but the thing is every episode is its own story right I mean that's procedurals right yeah so um, we weren't like unless we were doing like an arc of three shows that were connected which we did um, three episodes or four episodes we, we've done we did some epic arcs and those were like last time on CSI New York right you know Gary Sinise is like last time on CSI New York <laughs> and you know or whoever, um, usually him, you know, and so that would be thematically, I could connect themes all the way through that arc, and that was so much fun, that's what I love doing the most, I mean, is to be able to come up with something that's really effective and really connects the audience, and really elevates everything, and then work that, like, rework it, and explore, and find a new way to express it. And I did that with Dominion this past, you know, mm -hmm. fall of winter. Like, that was the best. Just so cool. Because of Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, and, yeah, right. CSI New York is not so much. And with Dominion and, like, the film that I just did, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a character theme either. Like, with the film I just did, it's, um, it's like a vibe that sort of is helping you move through, emotionally move through the, the narrative. And this is lighter kind of, you know, road trip kind of vibey kind of thing. And so that it's that information that I'm that I'm that's evolving and re reworking. It's not really necessarily connect, connected to any character. But was, and that was so fun. And then Dominion um, was literally character themes. So 
but also themes for the show for the like the soul of the show as well like I I just like happened to, across a couple things as I was going one was early on and, and was really really tied in to the whole score um, so it was like subliminally in everything um, and then there was Michael's theme and Noma's theme and Erika's theme and Alex's theme and, and I mean, there's a whole story behind Michael's theme, this vast story which I just was talking about. But, um, I mean, the great thing is just how the audience connected with it, how it resonated. They just were, they were, it was, there was so much love. It was unbelievable. The way that it connected them to the character, to understanding him, and to connecting more with him and more with the story. And... Um, and other things like Alex's theme became the main title and I didn't know that was going to happen either and then I, but the main titles are so short now in TV I was able to um, like the fourth episode and on and see, I did season two of Dominion the fourth episode and on I extended into the scene before or the scenes before um, the main titles and created these wonderful sequences that were basically the, Alex's theme. The, um, I, we called it the chosen one. Um, and so this it became this whole thing where you, you would hear the chosen one sort of sneaking in right. in some form that, <laughs> that resonated with the scene. So yeah, a lot of fun. Like, a lot of fun. And, and the fans were so, the audience was so amazing. The way they supported what I was doing and it was amazing.